While Stella and Hazel both have their medical routines down to a science, they also have a different, somewhat similar outlook on life. Hazel Lancaster is a 16-year-old cancer patient who has a blunt yet charming and humorous personality. She is clearly very intelligent, and although her life is consistently thrown into shambles, she somehow seems to stay level-headed. Whereas Stella is a rather controlling and has somewhat panic nature to her, I also feel she is like Hazel in that she is also very experienced in her illness, and not to mention fun and outgoing. So as much as I can see giving both of them a point and calling this a tie round, I honestly feel a little more drawn to Stella's outlook on life. With her bubbly attitude and her unapologetic realness, she clearly is like Hazel in that she doesn't let her diagnosis run her life. However, unlike Hazel, she seems to still be able to crack a joke in a bad situation, which I can personally appreciate. So as for round one, the point goes to five feet apart. Now, of course, the most important factor when deciding the better of these two films has to be broken down by the better love story. And trust me, I love a quirky teen romance as much as the next girl. However, what Faults in Our Stars I feel captures better for me personally is the genuine ups and downs in a relationship. Not to mention the fun and enjoyment of falling in love. The way Gus and Hazel talk down to the way that they laugh with each other is just very wholesome to watch. Now that's not to say the romance is always believable. For example, there are scenes in Fault in Our Stars that seem downright cheesy. However, while Five Feet Apart may have a more realistic first meeting and development, Hazel and Gus's is just more interesting to watch and witness. So all in all, with who has the better love story, I'd say this round goes to Fault in Our Stars. Now for round three, we're focusing on a rather important part of this that both films do quite well, the realism. Both movies deal well with the high and low moments of a blossoming romance in a tragic situation. However, I think Five Feet Apart just hits this message home harder. I mean, the central theme of this story is a serious tragedy, and the movie just seems to never forget that. Even when things are going quite well, the movie isn't afraid to quickly bring us the audience back to reality. The movie isn't afraid to remind us that these stories, especially in this situation, don't always end beautifully or even have a happy outcome. So in all, I would definitely say round three goes to five feet apart. Okay, so maybe it's just me, but I did not care for Will's personality at first sight. I thought this kid seems like he's just kind of an asshole, and I didn't see myself enjoying his character nor his presence. And for most of the film, I didn't. You see, what I feel Gus has that Will lacks is a likable personality. You see, Gus had a humor and charm to his character that made us awe at his doings, whereas Will's character kind of had me rolling my eyes during most of his scenes. Not to say Cole Sprouts didn't do justice in his performance, but I guess it's more of a personal preference for me. And that's also not to say that Gus didn't have his serious moments. But what I feel Gus has down better than Will does is Gus had his moments of seriousness and humor, whereas Will is pretty much one-dimensional in his personality, being either pissed, sad, or somewhat amused. So as for the better love interest, I'd probably go with Fault in Our Stars for this one. Well, Five Feet Apart does a better job at the raw reality of getting little to no closure as far as the ending, which can be true in life because sometimes we don't get closure in a situation, and that sucks. However, personally, I find Fault in Our Stars ending a little more satisfying, with the heartfelt melody that kicks in at just the right time and the visuals that make you smile. And yeah, some could disagree about the ending's nod at the future and the unanswered questions, but for me personally, I feel although we didn't get a clear ending, the movie somehow still gives you closure in a way. So in the end, both these movies have their moments, as well as share an important message and story. And honestly, if I if I were ever to tie two movies, these ones would probably be it. But sadly, one of them has to be crowned the winner. So let's tally the votes and get those credits rolling.